All right, this is uh, Andrew. We're here with Android Central at uh, SDC 2014. I'm taking the stage over from Phil, and we've got Andrew Dickerson here, who is uh, director, director of software development for Samsung, and your focus is Gear VR. So obviously, huge talk of the show is uh, Gear VR. You know, Of course, you have connected home, you have all that stuff, but this is something you strap on your face and it teleports you kind of to a different uh, different realm. Why don't you talk a little bit about your involvement with the program? Yeah, so my team uh, in Dallas did the original Gear VR prototypes about two and a half years ago. Um, you know, we, we recognized that uh, the VR units that we saw out in the world weren't as high resolution screens as what we already had in our phones. Uh, so we just said, hey, let's 3D print a piece of plastic that we can drop a phone into. And, you know, the project just kind of took off from there. Uh, I wrote the first split screen camera, uh, 360 video player, um, some AR demos that we're using uh, Qualcomm's Euphoria, which you can see downstairs. Um, uh, and, you know, the HQ came over, saw the products, said, yes, this is definitely going to go into commercialization phase, and it's been a whirlwind ever since. Then uh, HQ and us went to Oculus, showed it to them. Carmack came over to the Dallas office that we're in and said, saw it and said, yeah, let's do this. So, so how has Oculus coming over, you know, they're like the guys in, in, in you know, virtual reality so how have you integrated with them to you know kind of share ideas yeah so at the start we showed our prototypes and they showed us obviously their, their dk1 at the time um, you know they they had quite a few more companies working on dk1 games at that point because we were still uh, being quiet about gear vr at that point and it actually wasn't called gear vr at that point there was lots of names for gear vr along the way um, but uh, you know the the Oculus guys are great, some of the best game developers in the world. Uh, Carmack's uh, a machine. Um, Samsung has done a lot of the platforms work, uh, so there's an email list that Carmack fires out to at Samsung every night at 3 in the morning when he's working and asks for platform changes and you know who at Samsung can get them done. Uh, so it's been a, a good experience from that perspective, uh, you know, working with those guys and, and obviously the game industry, they have a lot of game industry drive at Oculus as well, so that's helped drive a lot of the interest, I think, in, in mobile VR as well as the desktop VR. Right, I'm sure that them coming over, that gives a lot of pull to game developers. They see the the name Oculus and, you know, it's all about, I mean, of course, we're at a developer conference, we're talking about courting developers over to the platform, but, you know, I think Oculus even has to have some draw with consumers too, but really, when you talk about Samsung, I mean, that's what's, you. I mean, I'm sure you see potential in the name Samsung being able to pull in a, a whole new audience, not just hardcore gamers, right? Yeah, sure. So the, I mean, the scale of Samsung, the great screens that Samsung has, um, the just the logistics that Samsung has, the marketing arm that Samsung has. I mean, the, all the marketing going on here at SDC. Right, absolutely. All those things are, are hugely important to VR uh, because I mean, VR. The the average consumer has not seen VR yet, and and. For VR to succeed, you know, this has kind of been a, a magical collaboration between the two companies and lots of other companies. Um, you know, huge names like DreamWorks and RealFX and uh, Marvel, uh, Framestore, all those guys are here today and they're all supporting VR. And I think, I think we see that it, it, it's, it's right at the tipping point of, of being a consumer, uh, consumer product that people are going to have in their houses. Right, so we know that it's, it's going to be coming along. We're at you know, the Innovator Edition right now. When you, when you finally see it getting into people's hands, uh, you know, regular consumers, they go buy it, what do you think is going to really you know, knock their socks off? Is it going to be a specific game or a certain more the experience side of things? What do you think is like, that's the big selling point? Yes. So out of the gate, we're targeting obviously games and, and media experiences. 360 video, obviously, with Project Beyond downstairs. Samsung has the a new 360 camera that we that we just announced today. That's streaming video to 360 videos, totally immersive videos to Gear VR. A lot of which you can say 360 video, but a lot of people haven't experienced that. So I think the trick is to get people in those experiences and let them enjoy those experiences. Um, but in the future, I mean, real estate, medical, uh, health. Uh, type applications. Those are all uh, social experiences. There are definitely companies that are working on social experiences. Um, I wouldn't say that they're there yet, but uh, I think uh, in the future there'll be lots of, I'll be able to play, you know, uh, six cents ping pong versus somebody in, in China, for right, example. Right, right. And of course, you know, two, three, four, ten years down the road, this could be a whole nother, you know, extreme level that, you, you know, none of us could even imagine, even yourself, I'm sure. So 
you see it going way beyond, you know, a single basic experience where you're flipping through things. You know, you want it to be more immersive, I'm sure, right? Yeah, so so right now we're very much a sit-down experience, you know, sit in a swivel chair, spin around, watch the 360 video, watch the VR theater, um, watch a 3D movie, play a game, uh, and, and kind of shorter experiences. So let's say 20 to 30 minute experiences, so more mobile VR experiences. You're, you may not sit in this thing for 12 hours a day or 14 hours a day like you would, you know, your... Uh, uh, game console, um, but uh, lots of body tracking technology, limb tracking, hand tracking, eye tracking, face modeling, wow. all these technologies are getting kind of advanced quickly now that VR is here because there's a lot of other opportunities in VR that, that just a regular phone or a tablet didn't really uh, need or include. Well, I, I can tell you that uh, we're personally very excited about VR, and I know that it's kind of come out of left field for some people who haven't followed along, but uh, people who are reading our site and interacting with us are really excited. But being on the inside, what is the one you know, forward-facing application or game right now that is, you know, that's your go-to thing that you think is, you know, I really like this experience or this game. What, what's that for you? So, so for us, it's 360 video. Samsung's very focused on media partners and video partners. Okay. Uh, finding ways to make that experience as good as it can be. Uh, the technology is even having to change for things as simple as 360 video streaming. Um, the world's been streaming flat video for a long time, and it's more right, complicated yeah. to stream 360 because the resolution needs to be a lot higher. Sure, sure. Um, so we're we're obviously headlong into that with the, with the camera and, and uh, uh, demos as well. Um, but uh, I think that's the, sh the near-term stuff is, is, is are things like that. Uh, Further out, though, uh, the social aspect, I think, is going to be huge with this, you know, virtual shopping, um, virtual experiences where you're telepresence with another person, um, and lots of, lots of companies that are experts at that are here today as well um, that we're talking to for future stuff. Awesome. Well, it really sounds like the sky's the limit. Um, we're really excited to spend more time, I guess, face on with Gear VR, and uh, plenty of good stuff going to be coming out of Samsung Developer Conference. But for now, that's your quick uh, little wrap-up talking to Andrew Dickerson here, and I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more uh, from Andrew and his team in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.